Random Redditor. Who are you? I'm a 28 year old student in Riek Jabke. Iceland. I'm single and I have no intention of changing that because I like the freedom of having nobody but myself to answer to. I like good coffee. Good beer, though I'm more willing to forgive beer for being less than good. Crime novels. Kittens. Writing. Folklore, especially if it involves ghosts. And travel. I also like cycling but these days it's too windy. I'm really looking forward to having an entire month free after exams. I love trivia games and crossword puzzles. I'm a huge germaphobe and I'm terrified of flying. Nice to meet you. Michael. I'm a politician in Canada. If you're a Canadian who follows politics there's a good chance you've heard of me. I'm fairly young. I'm a conservative politician. However. On many issues I'm more liberal than my fellow party members. I'm very nationalist and patriotic. I am 24 year old Native American. I don't have much to say. But I like playing Minecraft. Hello. My fave drinks are coffee and root beer. My favorite hockey team is the Edmonton Oilers. I have short hair. My favorite color is blue. And I'm Batman. 22 male. Getting my masters. Dating the love of my life for 4 years. Turns out she's having doubts about us. Fun times ahead. Hi. Internet stranger. Take it from this 25 slash f who's 3 year love of her life left, if they leave. They aren't the love of your life. You'll find her. I promise. If you ever need to talk. My inbox is open. I would tell you but the last time I revealed too much personal information on reddit someone tracked my username back to Facebook and things got weird after that. I am Michael. I'm 22 and live in England. I work at a pet superstore and live alone except for my two kittens. Arwen and Yewin. And two bearded dragons. Gizzy and Gizmo. I have a brother who lives in Norway. I'd one day like to move to America. I'm in my late 20s. Bald. And married. We have a one year old and a poodle. And you're the first to know. We're expecting a baby around August. Edit. Oh shit, this comment blew up. I'm scared. I have goals now. What did I do? Also just want to clarify I am woman with alopecia. Second edit. Many of you were calculating gestation and guessing conception. It must have happened early October because I'm due the 10th of July. I'm not sure if you're all notified of edits. But just in case I thought I'd clear some of your minds. I'm Clayton. 20 years old living on my own with my best friend Shepard Mix named Sirius in Cleveland. Come from a broken family. Joined the military when I was 17. Been working a full time retail job for 2 years. Also work at a bar doing security and kinda got into the party scene early. But have recently given it up. Hopeless romantic. Recently dropped out of school and looking to become a welder. Used to have all the ambition and dreams of living the fun single fast paced higher life. But after going through some things all I want in life is to work a good job and make a comfortable living just so I can have a family. Watch football on Sundays. Drink some beer. Go fishing with my dog and finish writing my book. This post has gotten way too huge for anyone to even see this. But I just wanted to chip in. Because this is really interesting. And I don't have many real life humans to talk to. I'm 22. Female. I live in the UK. I graduated my BA this year. And now I am studying an MA part time online. I want to keep studying to PhD level and become a lecturer. I am mildly passionate about a number of pointless hobbies. None of which I'm actually any good at. I live with my parents. Work part time in an admin job. And I am very grateful for those things. I am also however very bored. And very very lonely. I have a long term boyfriend who I love to pieces. But who lives about 2. 5 hours away. I am incredibly jealous of the people who I went to university with who are living their dreams. My depression and anxiety come and go. But I cry a lot and feel like I want to quit life. Move to a big city. And just go all out on chasing my dreams. 
but I can't afford to do that. So I just stay here and read it and wish I was a better person. Ro. That got a bit long. Sorry. But that's me. Hi. I am early 20s. Geeky. Love flickering on the lights in my head as a result of solving problems. Yet a gradual college and care way too much about finding a girlfriend. I live on my own in a city I can call home. Running. Reading. And playing music. As well as developing scripts related to the career in coffee shops across the city. Are how I spend my free time. At this point. The thing I find worth looking forward to most of all is a really. Really. Good book to get lost in for a little while. 19 Ohio. I work at electronics in a department store. Currently going to college for two majors. Astrophysics and applied mathematics. I am engaged in trying my hardest to get through college well and do well at my current job. Just so I can learn how to manage my life well early. Can't wait to graduate and go into grad school and or research. Probably too late to post but what the heck. I'm a mid 20 something gal. I'm a social worker in child welfare. It is an insane job and most days I don't know why I do it. Most people hate me. Want me to do everything for them. And just don't get it. I work with about 25 kids on my caseload. Which means their parents. Foster parents. Therapists. Lawyers. Teachers. Siblings. Relatives. Parents therapists. Probably in offices. Etc. Who I deal with almost weekly. I can never count on people being honest and there is always a crisis. I often have to tell people I'm willing to help. But unable to at the moment and it's really hard to prioritize. But those few days that I see I've done something right help me realize I keep kiddos safe. And that's what matters. Hi. I'm Peter. I've moved around a lot over the past few years for school and work so I don't really consider myself to be from any one place in particular. I used to be a full time EMT but left that job after I had a few guns pointed at me and decided that I didn't want to die in the dirty gutter of a street in a bad part of town in the middle of the night because someone took the wrong combo of drugs. After studying aviation management and air traffic control, after leaving the ambi life, I am working as an airport firefighter and absolutely loving it. In my free time I skydive, brew beer, hike, kayak canoe, whitewater and flat water, snowboard, run and browse reddit. I've been reading a lot more recently at the behest of my girlfriend and have found that I really enjoy memoirs and dystopian futures. I like dogs and hope to have many of them someday. But my current lease prohibits them. I feel that Quentin Tarantino is the greatest director alive and possibly in history. I'm a 28 year old female from the US. I work for bands helping them book tours and line out all of the details of said tours. Several of which I have gone on and worked. I also worked in music venues for almost 8 years and it completely changed my opinions of a lot of musicians that I had previously held in a certain regard. Some for the better. Some for the worse. I'm a single parent to a 1 year old and a dog and I'm honestly finally happy with my life. For reasons of personal protection. I will not reveal too many personal details. I am a moral pedophile. I'm 23 and I live somewhere in southwestern USA. I work with boats. And live with my parents. I have a dog and a cat. I like science fiction and video games. I'd one day like to move to France. Where I hope to become a nuclear engineer. When I was much younger I thought I could be an astronaut. I still want to. But alas. I am ineligible. I am considering volunteering some of my spare time to the local volunteer firefighters association. I really like helping and teaching people. Edit. Personal information. Female. 23. Living in the US. Who is still trying to figure her life out. Surprisingly in a relationship. Wasn't planning on it. Sorta of just happened but very happy at the moment. Currently going to school for a career in the medical field. Nothing too fancy. I love cars and hoping to learn how to ride a motorcycle soon. Oh and my real name isn't Charlie. Although I sometimes wish it was. 
I'm a born and raised Midwestern suburbanite. White male in his early 30s with 5 rescue dogs. 2 car loans and 1 mortgage. I live with my girlfriend of 3 plus years and we're currently in a fight against diabetic eye disease, hers, that has already permanently damaged her vision in one eye. I work at a telecommunications company in mobile advertising but I would like to be a novelist if I had my druthers. I'm also a massive soccer fan and long time season ticket holder of my local professional club. The most impactful moment of my life was my father's death in 2008. The second most was my own near death at the hands of 5 cowardly dickbags who assaulted me for my jacket and shoes when I was 15. I have alopecia but find being hairless absolutely amazing. My favorite bands are Muse, Coheed and Cambria, and The Deer Hunter. My favorite movies are Pulp Fiction, The Karate Kid, Shaun of the Dead, Princess Bride, and my cousin Vinny. And I love a good hamburger. I'm a tiny blonde woman that stands just under 4 minutes and 11 seconds. My best friend is a grey tabby cat named Agatha. I work as a bartender and work on my new small business during the day. I live a very frugal life and because of that I bought a cute little cottage on the Florida panhandle outright at 23. TLDR I'm a loner and a rebel. I'm a 24 year old woman living in New Jersey. I was originally born in Moscow. My family made our way here to the US on a refugee bill in 1997. I'm immensely glad not to be in Russia. I graduated with degrees in war and security studies and Japanese. But unfortunately the work I'm doing right now at a business consulting firm isn't where I saw myself at all so I'm looking for something different. Please hire me. I'm cool. Comma in my spare time I play ice hockey as a goaltender. I have a grumpy cat and an energetic 4 month old corgi puppy. I like camping, kayaking, and superheroes. I'm still living with my family to save money. And I wish I felt like more of an adult. Life feels unfulfilling at the moment. I have Ehlers Danlos Syndrome and Autism. I am 23 and I attend a disability service 4 days a week. And I have one dog and a cat. I love to write and collect pens. I enjoy learning about new things and hanging out with my mates. I love the TV shows Criminal Minds. Scorpion. Chicago Fire and Modern Family. I browse Reddit because the questions give interesting story ideas at times. I also love country music but don't mind other genres as long they are not just in Bieber or One Direction. I hate diamonds and big jewelry. I prefer any stone that is purple and small in size or jade. My favorite color is purple and I love Pokemon. Unlike most girls I know. I love football and cars especially Holden's and Brisbane Broncos. I support Queensland Maroons because NSW sucks in my opinion. Dot. I love the movies Hunger Games and Divergent. I love to read especially the Percy Jackson books from Rick Riordan. I live in Belgium. I'm 20 years old. Male. My studies were more practical like cooking, sewing, ironing, basic householding and logistics regarding hospitals. After that I studied to be a security officer and now I'm studying applied psychology in college. Things I like. Alternative rock. Playing the piano. Hanging around with mates. Gaming. Roaming Reddit. Learning interesting stuff. I try to find something every day, and next to that I also help around the house. Do some cleaning. Do groceries. Chores etc. My mom went into surgery for uterus cancer a while ago and I tend to help whenever I can. Sorry if my English sounds off. Colon. Come I have a nice day. I'm 24. Grew up in the northeast. But move west to build and maintain hiking trails for the US National Park Service. All winter I work at a ski resort. I may not be rolling in money. But my life out here is way too awesome to care about that. I've gotten really into mountain climbing and my life kind of revolves around it these days. I also love watching movies and reading. I also had open heart surgery when I was 3. I got so many Lion King presents out of that. I'm Alex. A 31 year old homeless man in Duluth, Minnesota. I grew up and lived most of my life in the suburbs of Minneapolis. 
before I became homeless. I worked as a mechanical designer for 8 years. I was also a moderately successful amateur race car driver. I competed at the national level in SCCA solo from 2004 to 2010. And took home trophies from the national championships in 2009 and 2010. When I could no longer afford the time and money it took to compete at the level I was accustomed to. I lost all my motivation. And eventually my job. This April. When I could no longer pay my rent. I left nearly everything I owned behind and hit the road. I traveled all over the western US. Living in my pickup truck. I met a ton of awesome people. Climbed a bunch of mountains. And conquered my deepest fears. I came back to Minnesota in August for my best friend's wedding. And the next day my truck was impounded for expired tabs. I couldn't raise enough money to get my truck back. And I've been stuck here in Duluth ever since. It's pretty cold here tonight. But not as cold as it has been. And certainly not as cold as it will be. I doubt I'll make it through the winter. A 28 year old therapist and psychology instructor living in the American Midwest. I am short. In really good shape. Ran a half marathon this past summer. And single. My work keeps me exceedingly busy but I like helping people and I love teaching. So I'm gonna stick it out. Also. Today is my cake day. I had no idea. And I don't know what to do about it. My cake day wishes for lots of random internet strangers to offer me a hug. Hugs from a teenager who regularly listens on a site called 7 Cups Off Tier because no one deserves to feel unsafe and uncared for. And is a synesthetic lesbian who loves learning other languages. And is living in Malaysia. I also cannot wait to get out of school and move to someplace where the love I can feel is not illegal. A guy. Currently in college. Who has been consistently told he has huge potential. But who has consistently failed to live up to everybody's expectations. Hello past me. I'm a 45 year old cop who has a happy life with a wife. Son. Two dogs and a cat. I majored in aerospace engineering. Didn't finish school. For years. I felt like a walking. Talking fraud of unfulfilled potential. And still do. Sometimes. But when I learned that everyone else's expectations do not matter in the long run. I was able to do what I love. Be a damn good detective. Without the guilt of letting people down. If you possess potential. Tap it. But tap it because you want it. Need it and love it. Whatever the it is. Good luck. Brother. Your life is a novel you are writing now. You've barely finished chapter 1. I'm 26 and I have minor brain damage. That is an ironic statement because any brain damage is serious business but I keep moving on forward regardless. I'm different from my generation in that instead of going of and partying or doing crazy things. I just want to raise a happy family at my age already despite being single. I keep to myself a lot but once you get to know me. I'm as loyal as one can be to my friends and family and I'm really just a big ball of sunshine despite looking like a lumberjack. If nobody reads this. I can accept that. But I'm trying to get over not talking at all and at least trying to speak for once. Even if I'm talking to myself. Edit. Reddit surprises me sometimes. I wasn't expecting such a large turnout for my post. But I really do appreciate all of the replies I've gotten and I will reply to all of the comments and questions asked of me. Thanks for being cool people Reddit. I am a 28 year old attorney in a southern U. S. State. I get really frustrated that people can't follow basic codes of human decency like not taking other people's shti without asking. Not hurting each other for no reason. And not keeping basic promises. I am an attention wh ray and social situations in which I am not controlling the crowd make me nervous. I have developed a very sarcastic sense of humor that usually does a good job of carrying the crowd until someone better comes along and I fade into the background. I usually leave at that point. I recently moved back in with my parents because I could no longer afford my apartment. I went from living downtown in a big city to living a 20 minute drive from the nearest grocery store. I want to get a job with a government agency so I have a guaranteed paycheck. Hours. And advancement. 
I'm L.S. Dean. A Detroiter in my 30s with more grey hair than I wish I had who collects flags. Loves Estonia and Finland. Is a quarter Sami. Wrote for a TV show. Worked as a medic and a surgical tech. Hasn't been on a date in over 3 years. Haven't seen my only friend in 4 weeks. Is skinny with grey eyes that have actually been described as too scary to look at. Trying to start a shaving company where I make shaving soaps and aftershave. And I will probably die alone. 49F. Divorced and single for 14 years. I live near the beach. And I have two great kids in their 20s. I drive a Honda Civic. And work in social services. I'm creative. And I love music. I have been dating a 49 meter that I met on OkCupid for 9 months. And I love him. I smoke pot. But I hide it from my kids, even though they know. I love Reddit. I also had 12 inches of my intestines removed 8 days ago. I am an engaged 20 years old. With 2 foster children. A daughter. And 4 dogs. I am a stay at home mom who cleans the house with the music blasting. I am also a former foster child myself and a recovered heroin addict and alcoholic. I am the spitting image of my mother. But a lot of people say I look like Velma Dinkley, Scooby Doo. Which is where I get my username. I am also finally happy with my life and myself. Name's Jarrett. I'm currently in high school taking a victory lap. Looking to pursue a career in the film industry. I would love to be a documentary cinematographer and travel the world experiencing everything from the most beautiful sights to the slummiest places around the world. I just want to be somebody that people know. Though I'm only 19. I'm constantly hoping and believing that the world is becoming a better place and I dream of an accepting world. I'm also overweight. Lacking in self confidence but feign it in public. And socially awkward. And I'm constantly daydreaming about how I can make this really cute girl in my animation class like me. Nice to meet you. Colon. I'm Jamie. I'm drunk as I type this. On an iPad. So bear with me. I'm 27. Medically retired from the Marine Corps. Possibly suicidal. Podcaster. And a huge nerd. I grew up a theater nerd with aspirations of performing for people. I quickly realized that that would go nowhere. So I flopped around for a while until I joined the USMC at 21, because a girl left me, attempting to suicide by combat, being a huge loser. Some shti went down and I left a PTS deemed PK so can't get a job because of that diagnosis. I mostly spend my days playing Dark Souls and looking after my beautiful funny asshole son and trying to find something that will make a little money to pay for the bills that VA disability won't cover. And a fair amount of Reddit. Of course. I am a man who has spent the past 12 years sick with an incredibly rare and potentially fatal disease. I sought refuge in Reddit. The internet. Television. Film and video games. It is insane to type this. But after finally undergoing a bone marrow transplant I may actually be cured. And I'm possibly healthier than I have ever been in my life. I am just now beginning to understand both the incredible blessing and the overwhelming fear associated with having a future. For the first time in years. I'm 36. A psychotherapist. I love what I do but despite what I do I'm intimidated by strident. Outspoken people like I often find on reddit. I rarely am intimidated by folks in my office but am greatly intimidated by many of you. I have a family and a marriage I both love and depressingly mull over constantly. Something I find both comical, very dark, and appropriate. I fantasize about acting out. Which I then take to therapy. Sometimes. I envy. Despise. And love those who act out without recourse. Sometimes I feel so connected with the human experience and sometimes I find it intolerable. Working with teens makes this a surface issue. Which is relieving, and equally intolerable. I am embarrassed at how easily I can cry sometimes and other times I'm almost object like in my dissociation from the matter at hand. I both know who I am and also have no idea who I am. I wish I hadn't been so hard on myself as a younger person and have great compassion for that young man. Edit. After reading this thread. 
I think it's probably the most heartfelt thing I've seen on Reddit in years. 23 year old college student living in the freshman dorms in Chicago. I can't be happy no matter what I do. Antidepressants have only made me feel hollow. It's a fake happiness. I hate it but after being off of them for a few years. I need it. I can't be happy no matter what. I don't remember what it feels like. I almost killed myself a few times this month. Yeah. I'm a third year product design student. Knowledgeable in electronics and Arduino programming and I'm beginning to enjoy that more than design. I kind of hate design just because everyone is so pretentious. Although you kind of have to be in a way. It's all about this thing isn't that great. I can do better. Students and staff keep doing that to you. They make you feel like shti and don't care about any of the hard work you put into something. It's all. This isn't that good. I don't know why you're continuing with it. It's not a good idea. I mean. My 4 year old can come up with a better idea. Comma actual words from a teacher. FCKU2. Fucking hate this. I would go on but I got really sad and can't continue anymore.